Top Dogger City One. I don't think anyone was expecting it, and when it came out, it got it was so popular with all the viewers that it was an easy decision to make Chaco City Two. Uh, you know, I think that you know when the studio realized what we were making, they didn't realize that the quality that we were making and, and how JC was going to pull off this movie at, at a lower budget level, and the movie looks so much bigger than what it was. Um, and so by us doing part two, the most important part was to make sure that it wasn't just a lucky thing that we were doing part two, that we really ramped it up and made a real higher quality movie, which we're doing right now, involving Vegas in there, involving the more dancers in there, involving the, the dance moves that they have, has been, been worked on for four and a half months. And I have to credit our director, JC, who's been unbelievable with this thing. It's, uh, you know, he's been working every single day with these actors and our dancers. Oh my God, every one of them has given their heart and soul to this movie to make sure that this movie really has a lot of legs and it's gonna probably really be twice as big, if not way bigger than the first one. Oh, all right, five, six, seven, eight, let's start, Mike. Oh, all right, good. All right, three boys, third. So yeah, so it's first, second, third. Yeah. Uh, Jean-Claude is a, a wonderful writer, wonderful director who knows exactly who he wants. I think he's mapped out, storyboarded uh, the project in his head before he starts filming it. So there's a great clarity that he works with. He's a doer. He gets things done. Yes. Yeah, John Clark gets in. That's yeah, what I love about him. And that's what yeah. I love about him. He's always right on top of it. Yeah. At the end of the Absolutely. day. Absolutely. You know, he's an actor too, so like, I've never worked with somebody that's played both hats, been in front and behind the camera on the right. same project. So I just like his vision. And there's certain things and certain luxuries that he gives us as the performers that most directors don't give. And I think it's because he knows what it's like to be in our shoes, you know? Right, so. right. To be an actor. Mm -hmm. It's mixed. Some of us are professional dancers and some of People, some people are exotic dancers and then some people are just actors. Mm -hmm. uh, but John claude is really good about um, letting us go in pieces when need be. Oh man, John claude he's amazing. Um, a brilliant guy, uh, a genius at what he does as far as the directing, the editing, and just his vision of what he wants. I give kudos most definitely to John claude right. um, He When we first do it, he's like, there's not gonna be nudity. It, it won't be something that, you know, women can't take their girlfriends. You know, you wanna go somewhere that you know it will be classy, that you don't kinda go, oh, child, what are you doing? Yeah, oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> well, Chocolate City definitely delivers right. on the class. But working with him, it's, 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 it's a cool experience because, you know, you got the, both sides of personalities. You know what I'm saying? You get the cool side, you get the serious side. You get, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you just gotta know how to deal with him, and, and, and if you if, if you know how to deal with him, he could be a he could be a great mentor and a great friend to anybody. He ain't all that. He yeah. totally like he knows <laughs> when it's play time and he knows when it's work time, and that's what's cool. And he knows what he wants, and he he like makes it happen and comes it like brings it to life. But I feel like he's doing he's, he don't play. He, he doesn't play. If you don't like something, like no. Yeah. Director, a director is a manager, essentially. He's not the star. It's not about him. He's a manager and really, really great management on a film set results in a great film. But what I've learned over time, this is about my 25th film or so that I've directed, is that the best directors are communal in their dealing with the support system they're given, which is their crew, their cast, and, and their producing team. I'm very uh, humbled by people I'm surrounded by who tap into their greatness and try to share that greatness with me. But I'm also very aware of people, some of whom may be around me, who don't give their best. Of course, that hurts your project. And so that is the challenge, because at the end of the day, it's, it's still a director's vision, but more commu having people have more of a say in and creative input in your vision can only bring the best uh, product. Hey everybody at home, I'm Rob Richard, the lead on Chocolate City 2. We're on the set right now, we're doing Chocolate City uh, in Vegas, and uh, we've got an exciting project, and you look forward to all of our workouts paying off and uh, dancing for uh, the world. So we decided to um, uh, use Vegas as a, as a backdrop for the sequel, uh, make it bigger, make it more diverse. First, we premised the movie on the idea that the, the club is in foreclosure or pending foreclosure, 
uh, they're struggling financially. Everyone has to come together in this one last desperate act to save the club. And so they all decide, the dancers, to um, join this competition that pays over a half a million dollars uh, in cash prize. My character happened to end up at the wrong club. The Spanish club got closed, so I ended up in Chocolate City. <laughs> yeah, I basically am the Latino male exotic dancer at Chocolate City. And yeah, some of these guys from other crews are bringing it, so. Like, Let me just say, you're gonna be looking forward to the big reveal. Dude, we got different flavors. Okay. okay. We, we got, got a real family. family. We got you know, chocolate. We, we got here. caramel. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got all that. A lot, a lot of chocolate in yeah. the dumb mouth. Man, what about the competition? Man, like I said, so I'm sitting down, we're working hard, we're practicing every day. We got this, man. We got this. The competition is not only into a stick, but you know what I'm saying? Light up, love, baby. Right here. Okay. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck you. Shout out to all the ladies out there. Long time you. without showtime. Much love. You have all these wonderful exotic men who know how to work those bodies, honey. So I'm not used to like having all these like beautiful buff men all around me. I just can't. I don't think I can. It's really hard for me to deal with. Come visit. Come see it. Come see it. Come see it. Come be it. Come be it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.